Hey guys, what is going on? Legit Rs Given here with another episode of my Road to 500 Mil series. This is episode 4 and it's already going to be a special episode, guys. And I really do need to spit my gum out, but I just fed my cat treats, uh, boots. He usually meows during these videos or he does somehow. And then I have to like tone it out or to cut it out. And so I fed him his treats already, so he ran away and then that should be good for this. So this is going to be a special episode guide and guys, guide. And basically, guys, what I'm going to be doing is selling my bank, uh, stuff that I don't need. I'm going to be clearing things up. And just for you guys to look right now um, at my cash deck, I did gain around $1 million cash already. But that's besides the fact because I also gained a lot of other items that I need to show you guys, including broad bolts or broad arrowheads that I have been buying for quite a while now. And that's for a different time, guys. But um, I'm going to go into my bank. Basically, what I'm going to be doing my pots tab I'm gonna decant all these and try to sell most of them and uh, I'm gonna be keeping things like prayer pots prayer renewals um, and then of course I'll be keeping uh, Ceradon and brews and super restores for stuff like that uh, slayer tasks Then I'll be keeping my stream my extremes and my anti fires as well and I really need to spit this gum out it's making me like drool in my mouth so I'm like kinda like sloshing my words together so be right back alright so I just tore a page out of my mom's book to uh, spit out my gum I'm sure she'll be very happy about that but it was one of the back pages so it, it didn't have words it was just like the author's bio page you know the more I say that the more rude it sounds I probably should I'll just go buy our new book but anyway guys I'm gonna decant these I really do just want to clean up my bank I'm actually at my kitchen table right now my two computers are side to side and as you can see here uh, this is all my slayer I did or my PVM and I did last week so I'm gonna be selling all of this stuff guys but um and I'm gonna be selling a lot of this stuff as well but um as you guys see I have 173k maple logs I'm gonna be keeping those I also will be keeping my spirit shards and my uh, grimy toad flax I've been keeping up for a long time I also for some reason will be keeping my rock tail guys because well they're basically worthless um, just pre OC about a, uh, two, two, three weeks ago, these were worth around 2k each, and now they're worth 806 GP each, guys. So, what, what was worth almost 6 mil is now worth 2 mil. I was so pissed when I saw that yesterday, I was price checking random things. Um, so, I'm going to be going through my whole bank, guys, for you guys and selling random stuff that I no longer need so hopefully this should help for the well of course it will help um, as I will accumulate a, a good amount of money hopefully I'm gonna put all this in here so we can keep track of how much I make um, hopefully this will keep uh, track better of what I earned during this series so I'm not gonna be selling my claws either because well they're already worthless as is so I'm just gonna you know keep those in the higher upper part of my tab I'm gonna be selling this Ganodermic so let's get down to it uh, I think I'm gonna clean up this pots tabs first pots tab first so I'm gonna it's probably gonna take a while but um I kind of I don't really like how when you use a pot that uh, it goes into minor denominations. So I'm gonna probably keep most of the minor denominations, but decant them into you know three or two doses. Um, I hate the one dose kind of thing. So I'll be right back, guys, when this is all done, and it probably should take a while. But then we'll start selling stuff and get on with this episode. Was I talking really fast that whole time? I have a like I had a feeling right when I right when I uh, paused that video clip that people were just like, what? What just happened? So um, I'm going to be doing this, and there is a guy named Bob in the, uh, what's his called, what's his face called, um, in the GE, who actually will decant uh, all these things for you. I don't know if he decants flasks, but if I bring vials, I think he might be able to decant my flasks into, into vials. So we're going to try that out uh, after I get everything in here, but hopefully, I really just want to get rid of these Ceridon and Brews. Um, I should use them because they really are they really are worthless now. I think uh, a full flask is worth not even like 7k. So it's kind of pathetic what's happened to the game just because of a freaking EOC, how people are like, oh my gosh, we can't have any of these items anymore. So I'll be right back, and hopefully this actually works. If this fails, I'm going to be really pissed. I'll probably just end up dropping a lot of these pots on the ground if it does fail. But, um, yeah. And another thing, guys, that I really want to talk about is YouTube's new layout. And wow, I just choked on air. But new YouTube's new layout, oh my gosh, it makes it so difficult. My whole news feed from all the subscriptions I have for Runes RuneScape YouTubers is just flooded with the videos they had like seven, like two weeks ago or seven days ago. And it was like, uh, watch, recommended for you. And then it had me watch a video that w had been made like so many days ago. I was getting pissed off. Like, why would I ever want to do that? So, okay, that did actually turn out to work, guys. So I'm going to keep on doing that until I get, you know, somewhat a decent, uh, a decently resized bank. So that actually does work. Wow. So, again, be right back, and then we'll actually start selling stuff, and that will be the fun part of the video. And then at the end of the video, you guys will also see what I did as in terms of PVMing uh, during Double Loot Weekend last weekend. As um, I didn't get enough time to put that video out or actually play a lot, but I did get pretty lucky for the, for the PVM I did do. And it was actually a really nice drop to have, especially because it was double loot, so it was the double loot. And um, I'll be able to show you guys how much I got for it and what I sold it for. And also what I'm thinking about doing later in this series to earn more money. 
So as I do this by hand, guys, I really have been wondering, uh, how should I do these episodes? I know I really like to save the clips so you guys know exactly what I've been doing, but it gets really tedious, you know, having to record every single time I make money in some kind of way. So I'm not sure if I want to keep up, keep doing that that way, guys. So please let me know if you have any other ideas on how I could do these episodes, because it does get a little painful, you know, every time I make 500k or so, I have to really record it and show you guys what's going on, so you guys don't like think I'm faking it. Um, so please let me know what you guys think about that. And what I've also been thinking about doing, guys, before we even get to the video, <laughs> like actual content here, I've been wondering. Should I do the Kingdom of Miscellanea, both those quests, so I get, can get those extra workers on Kingdom of Miscellanea? So I'm gonna make, I'll be making like a lot of good, good money um, doing that. I know it's also really good money if you do both quest requirements, so you get more servants to work on your plantation. I know that sounds really bad and really racist, but I'm not trying to be. Um, so I really am wondering what should I do um, for that. I'm pretty sure I really want to actually uh, do that right now, but I'm, I know I'm really busy tonight. Uh, but of course I could probably find it only takes probably about 30 minutes per quest as long as you have it on Google so I'm thinking about doing that as well guys uh, if you guys think I should please let me know and I probably will alright guys so we mainly have finished uh, most of the decanting as you can see so much better looking we have extremes to uh, uh, the super anti-fire and then to the adrenaline potion which were uh, spec special restores so I never really use those though they're kinda pointless now um, anti poisons my supersets uh, to my brews and restores I don't really use to my prayers and prayer renewals and then energy pots so we have that really all put nicely together and now let's get to the money making of this fourth episode of my road to 500 mil cash so first off guys well, we're gonna collect what I've made so far and as you can see at the bottom screen uh, my infernal urns and decorated fishing urns have not sold yet I'm gonna be patient but um, in my free time, guys, a lot of time during the school week, I will be making these types of urns. And I'm not going to recommend you guys go out there and sell them. As you can see, I sold this last weekend, a whole week ago. And I actually made very, very good profit off the um, the infernal urns I did. But they do not sell anymore. They might just sell on weekends, but I'm not sure. So I'm not going to ask you guys to go do that as a money-making guy. But if you guys want to take the risk and do that, go for it. I dare you. Um, it's not necessarily good money. As I put 500k into these, and I could make 2.4 mil. Same with the decorated fishing urns. They do sometimes sell for 2k. And um, my clockworks, I'm still going to be doing those. That's also good money. So there we go, guys. Right off the bat, 635k. And let's go clean out my bank. Um, we're going to start in the last tab. Uh, let's see what junk there is. There really is no junk in here. All my uh, all my oh, yak highs that I've been collecting randomly, and on, uh, then again, all my dungeoneering things and uh, ancient ceremonial as well, my frozen key. So just a bunch of random stuff, chaotic that I need, and elite void and stuff like that that I'm going to be keeping for a long time, and you can't really sell. Then I'm going to go in the next tab. I have a random Guthin set that I bought a long time ago. So I guess you could say I did make this. I made enough money during the, uh, between these episodes to buy a Guthin set. Then I just left it in here for junk. So I'm going to keep that for a while, see what happens. You know, maybe it'll go up and be like the best armor in the game. Uh, with Jagex in control, you don't know what's going to happen. So um, I also had a mutated uh, Jadinkos. I had a baby Jadinko uh, Slayer task. So I went and did there, and I, I correct, I connect connected did I collected the mutated vines and accrescents how do you guys want to say that but that's how you make bolas I'm pretty sure bolas are probably worthless though so I don't know why I did that but it's gonna be good crafting XP when I actually do do that um, as for this tab guys uh, this is gonna be my my main armor tab and um, as you see 70 pairs of dragon boots I'm not gonna sell those guys because they're so cheap right now it's almost not worth selling them as I bought these for 60k each uh, yeah, 4.2 mil total waste. Um, but let's see what we can sell here, guys. Something, hopefully, there's something I can sell. Um, but there's not a lot I'm willing to sell right now because, well, I use a lot of this stuff. But hopefully, we can find something to sell. Um, I do have my rage fires. I don't really see the point in selling these mystic boots, but I guess we can. Uh, we can take these rush, these burnt shark. Actually, I'm gonna pause the video because otherwise it'll get way too long. Me trying to search for things to sell. So I'll be right back, guys. When I have inventory full of stuff that I'm ready to sell. Alright, so out of that tab alone, I got my two sets of Ganondermic, uh, top and bottom. Uh, I didn't I didn't have the, actually the courage to buy the visor. I don't know why I said courage there, but I just didn't have the need to buy the uh, the visor there. So I have my Mystic Boots, seven Polypore Staffs of the ten that I have. I bought those before the EOC because I was doing a lot of Dragon Bot killing, and that was great money for me. But then, uh, as you can see, I, I have over 1.2k Dragon Bones that I earned by myself. So that's pretty awesome. And Boots, don't you dare start. Don't you. I, did, I was going to say barking, but they meow. Meow, meow. He's being so annoying right now. Um, and yeah, that was me trying to meow back to him. But okay, seven polypore staffs and then two sets of Garandurvik. And here's my PVM tab, guys. It really has grown, but I'm going to sell a lot of the stuff in this uh, in this tab as it is kind of just junk sitting here. So I have a lot of good stuff in here, and um, it's probably hopefully going to add up to a lot of stuff um, that I've earned in the last, you know, 
just two weeks or so. So I have a lot of stuff to sell, collect in here, and then I'm going to sell it in the next video clip. Um, but hopefully you guys have been really patient because I know I get off task quite a bit. And Boots, please stop before I, you know, hurt you physically. Nah, I'm going to stop there. Um, but I'll be right back, guys, as I collect all this stuff and a random cooked meat. I don't know why that's in there, but I'll be right back. Alright guys, here we are, the very first load of stuff I have to sell, and I actually had to let my cat outside. He's actually, uh, we actually picked up boots, okay, for those of you who actually care, we picked up boots off a highway, and um, he, I found him in my room, as you can see on screen, I am selling my stuff. Um, I found him in my room one morning, and uh, my older sister had actually found him on the highway on the way home from college, and she picked him up, and we named him Boots, and he was forever ours, so um, he's actually kind of a bred outdoor cat, so I was stuck with him to take care of him a kid at home and uh, we kind of bonded but now he's just meowing all the time I think he might be depressed um, but I'm gonna sell this stuff guys and why the heck oh I didn't select anything but um hopefully what I'm what I'm planning for the, to get out of this guys is a good you know I'm I'm hoping for 20 mil because we have made such good progress on this series that I'm just really pumped and I'm really excited every day to get home and play RuneScape because I have a goal to get to and then eventually after that I get that goal Hopefully, I mean, the the opportunities I have are immense because the future of RuneScape is, you know, it could go anywhere. And then I can, even after maxing, guys, I would love to get maxed eventually one day. And even then, I would love to make more money because getting maxed, of course, uh, once I have 99 Slayer, oh my gosh. I would, you know, I might even, I might kill someone for 99 Slayer. You know, if it was like, okay, no, I wouldn't kill someone. But you guys know what I mean. So I'm going to pause the video. I think... I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I don't want to do like a 20-minute commentary because it takes up a lot of space on my on my computer. But I'm gonna pause in between each uh, set of four things I sell, and that way you guys can just see me collecting things. Um, but as you look at my inventory, I, I am selling even the iron bars that I had two iron bars randomly. Um, but that way it goes faster for you guys. And um, I have plenty of stuff to talk about, but a lot of you guys just like get to the point already, Jake. So um, I'm gonna do that, guys. And uh, starting now, one Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, and sell another four. I've literally just been singing to myself. Pause. Legit, yesterday, I was talking to my parents, and out of nowhere, my mom said she wanted to have the sex talk with me. I was like, no, that is definitely not happening, Mom. I'd rather not have that talk with you. And then my dad was like, yeah. And then my dad was like, Dad, what the heck are you doing? Okay, here we go, guys. I know Gannick Dormick should be, ah, oh, poopy nutsack. I was hoping that this Ganodermic would bring in some good money, but I don't know. My t my 20 mil goal seems a bit shy. And also, guys, I have been working on another wand, but I'm not even near close. Um, when I say working on, I, I tried my best. I got quite a bit of points, uh, quite a lot of points, but, um, ooh, wow. Okay, those are only worth 200k, but, and they're not, okay, good. So those will sell eventually, and let's go back to the bank. So, yeah, um, I don't want to have the, yeah, uh, what I was I talking about, I was trying to, figure focus on two things at once so that really didn't work out well but let's go back to the bank I'm not gonna sell everything again guys I'm not gonna sell any of my herbs um, I'm not gonna sell my god sword shard I'm not gonna sell the bones or my green dehydes just for you know I know that was the first items I ever earned and um, all these bones I don't know they take up so much bank space but um, I'm gonna also be dropping these scepter things um, so be right back I forgot to record a lot of this guys so if it just skipped forward a few hundred K don't freak out because it's not that big of a deal. But oh, one three three seven was that GP I just got from that. But yeah, I'm basically selling everything, guys, but my herbs and rock tail and a lot of things that I think are like important to me. So you'll see that I do still have a few items left in that uh, PVM tab. But I, those are just items that you know they're not really they're worth selling, I guess. But I kind of just want to keep them for like a note because I do keep my uh, herbs because I just know like wow, in a week I gained like 1k herbs. That's a lot of money and it adds up over time. And toad flax are on the rise in price, so I just figured why not why I keep them or why not keep them uh, that was weird but I also have a lot of coconuts that I've been saving up um, I bought one palm tree I think is it palm tree uh, one palm tree seed a, a while ago and I've been just picking coconuts from that tree and so I pay I basically pay for the tree and pay for the farming XP uh, with those coconuts so they're worth uh, you know a sentimental value I guess I could say because I get you know six to twelve a day and I just rhymed and that sounds really cool but um yeah as ooh nice 341 K um, we're almost at that 10 mil mark. Hopefully we at least hit that. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to just be signing most of my bank here, guys. So it's, it's easier for you guys to keep track of my bank in total. And so any new items, really, um, will, you guys will see them first. And again, this is almost going to be another 20-minute episode. This, pro this will probably be over 20 minutes. I probably should separate this episode, but I'm not going to. 
And um, yeah, so I'll be right back, guys. I'm probably just going to sell a lot of this stuff without recording. Um, that way, it just saves me a lot of time and saves you guys a lot of time. Because again, these files take up a lot of space on my computer. So um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, here's all that remains of this tab, and the reason why is I just like having the adamant plate drops, um, the loop half and the tooth half keys, I do like those a lot. Um, as you can see, I also have over 200 uh, black dragon uh, dragon hides, and that is bef before, that's pre-EOC when it was actually really easy to kill black dragons for me. Um, I also used a, an, a ranging safe spot that I eliminated because of the EOC. And then of course I have all my, my seeds that are rare actually, I actually have one torso which I'm really proud I got. Um, a few frost dragons I went to just for like a few minutes, and then I I'm keeping all of my batwing uh, armor and uh, uh, and batwings in general because I don't know why I just like having them. I I did batwings for a, a f quite a few hours, and so moving on to the next tab, we're not going to sell anything in this tab because actually we're going to sell these um, impling jars, but that's about it. They're not really worth anything. Um, they're just wasting bank space, but you know um, they're really wasting bank space, and they're not worth that much at all. But hopefully someone will buy them, and then. The next tab, this tab, should be the last stuff we have to sell, and hopefully we can get at least over 10 mil in that, in those tabs, and um, call this episode, call this an episode. Wow, I'm really struggling with speaking, but we'll be right back. And since these fine things are not selling, I'm probably just going to loot them and hopefully get something that's actually worth my time, and then I'm going to sell the jars because the jars are actually usually worth more than the implings inside. And uh, let's see what they sell for. They will sell for above that. So let's go and what? Yeah, that just totally proved me wrong on camera. So I'm going to just put all this stuff in the bank, and hopefully none of this is new to me, except for you two things, and then drop these things. And then, guys, we're on to our last tab that I'm probably going to be selling stuff in. <clears throat> Other than that, guys, if you can look at my bank, I do have the still the cannonballs, which are basically worthless right now. They are totally worthless. I've also been buying my daily seaweed um, and pineapples. And then I also have my 213,000 broad arrowheads, which I will sell eventually. Hopefully I can get that to 1 mil before I'm forced to sell it. But then let's sell this. I'm not going to sell my polypore spores because I like keeping those, you know, adding them up. And um, apparently both these flakes, both griffolic flakes and fungal flakes are crashing so hard. So I'm not expecting much from either of these um, at all. Um, it probably won't be pretty what I'm going to get for these uh, for these pretty good loots, actually. So let's do this. I actually did a... Um, a mithril, or was it a mithril steel dra mithril steel dragons task? I got like back to back to back runite limbs, and then also off the corner of my screen, I got a dragon plate skirt. So I was freaking out. I was, you know, oh my gosh, so much money! And then it's probably only worth about 250k, but still, that's better than nothing. And I'm still hoping we can get past that 10 mil mark. Otherwise, this episode is probably be pointless. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. So do you guys like the longer episodes, or should I be splitting these up into separate episodes? I've always been struggling with, like, uh, I know my computer hates having these huge, long episodes um, on once, but of course, you know, you guys do appreciate that, and you show it with the like-dislike button. Um, but of course, with this new YouTube layout, you guys might not even find this video till like, a week after it's passed up. So that's always a problem. And um, so if you guys like it, please tell me in the comments below um, if you did like it, because, you know, that keeps me motivated, and... Um, yeah, I kind of like making the longer episodes. It's easier for me to just talk straight instead of, you know, having to pause the video and then, you know, reconsider my thoughts. You know, I kind of like getting my thoughts out there. And, of course, Grafalt gloves don't even sell. That's just awesome. And Garagia mushrooms are worth nothing. But apparently they're actually a pretty good food, so maybe I should have kept those. Um, they're actually a pretty good food for the price that they are. And, oh, my gosh, Grafalt orbs dropped in half. And now they're, oh, man, guys. You know, I think RuneScape really needs to get out of this quick lapse that we're in because nothing is selling anymore because there's no demand. So uh, that's kind of a problem for this episode or this series in general. If there's no demand for what the items I have, what what good is it for me to actually, you know, get them? But at least the Dragon Plate Skirt sells, and we are so close to that 10 mil mark. Um, fungal Flakes first. Yes, they are crashing. They're worth almost nothing now, and oh my goodness. They're not even selling for that low. This is pathetic. Like, why is there no demand at all anymore? Oh my gosh, they sold for 10 each. That's pathetic. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of antagonizing, like, having to sell these for such low prices. And those sold for, like, I don't even know how much each. So, guys, I'm going to collect this, and yes, we broke the 10 mil mark. Thank God. I'm actually going to just keep these. So now, guys, I will still have five polypore staffs to use for random stuff. But I'm going to put these quickly back in the bank. As you can see, guys, we got rid of almost 100 items. Let's withdraw all our cash now. 
um, and I still have a pretty good amount of stuff to sell that I could sell and um, add to this series but we're gonna withdraw all but one and there we go guys we're gonna withdraw all of this just so you guys can see last episode we were at 40 mil straight and this episode guys we are now at 52 point almost 2 mil um, thank you guys for tuning in for this episode over 20 minutes once again thank you guys for all your support 52.2 mil now um, just a great achievement to have and uh, why is it not depositing okay uh, my bad but yes 52 mil out of 500 we are over a tenth of the way there and still so much of a bank that we've accumulated so far as I go through these tabs and my PVM tab is totally destroyed but you guys know that I will always be there making money so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please tell me below in the comments and if you did not please tell me below in the comments also but please leave constructive criticism because I hate dislikes um, thank you guys for tuning in for another episode and remember have a great day have a great night and good luck scaping and there's also one messed up in the clips that I have and you guys will hear that right about now hey guys what is going on and welcome to my ch uh, no 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 no